It's I, I like that point because even aside from even people living together, mm. cohabiting, because mm -hmm. that is what is, is actually happening now, mm -hmm. people will tell you, well, I am with this guy or I am with this lady. Yes. But I'm not sure if we're dating yes. or we're friends with benefits mm -hmm. or we're, I do not know what we are. Exactly. So we, we do not have a label. And there's this other thing that people say, as we don't have a label, we yeah. don't like labels. As, right. as we're just having, mm -hmm. you know, the best time of our lives. Yes. Is this dangerous? Because like you said, there's no sense of commitment. In yes, it. Yeah. it is dangerous mm -hmm. because we are not being honest. Yeah. And we are not being authentic. We mm. are going with the flow. Mm. Somebody needs to sit and say, mm. how comfortable am I mm. with not having a label yeah. about this relationship? Mm. You need mm. to sit down mm. and really ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, of mm. course, you are going to be termed as puppy, party pooper. Yeah. Or you are not going with the times. Mm. Well, it's not that serious. Mm -hmm. You will, But you need to mm. be honest with yourself because yeah. you are going to get hurt. Emotional mm. pain mm. is one of the triggers it's, to yeah. the violence we are seeing in relationships yeah. and the, the depression that people are going through. Mm. So we are having a lot of people who are killing themselves, mm. attempting suicide. Mm. The other day I'm in my house, mm. I get a, 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 you know, an SMS, mm. Banda Grace, I need your help, I'm very suicidal right now. Mm. And, and then I write back and I say, what, ha what has triggered this? Mm. It's a relationship. It is. Oh, I called yeah. and they they snubbed me or they said mm -hmm. something to me that hurt my feelings. Yeah. So so we need to be serious mm -hmm. about the seriousness of the being in an intimate relationship. Yeah. It is affecting you whether it you accept it or, or not. not. Yeah. The best thing is mm -hmm. for you to be realistic about, oh, yeah. about what is really going on inside. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is a thing that we do not really think deep about. Yes. Because um, we think, oh, well, we're just having a good time. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not affecting me in one way or the yeah. other, but we don't know that it does. It does. You know. So then can we... <sighs> The different stages, yes. um, you know, of dating. Because, like I said, dating now, yes, it's <laughs> very different. Then it's very, very different. Yeah. People will tell you, man, it's so hard to yes. date in the twenty-first century, right? Which is kind of true. Because yes. I mean, like you said, people are not being honest. People mm. are not um, committed yeah. to the relationship. We just want a really quick thing, and then yes. we're out of mm. it. So, can you talk about then very briefly about the different stages yes. that we need to the, go through? That we got. Now, dating is is um, is about gathering data. Mm -hmm. So, I'm I'm mm -hmm. meeting mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. and I'm getting to know you, you. Okay. to know who at least to have an understanding of who you are and what is your state mm -hmm. in life before mm -hmm. I make the choice mm -hmm. now when when I, I cannot know you within a, a day mm -hmm. neither can I know you within a week yeah. and neither can I know you within three days sure. so I need to be able to give myself at least 90 days okay. those are three months three months so All anybody right. who's looking for a timeline mm. dating start when you start when the day that you start going out with this person give yourself 90 days All right. before mm. you join your finances okay <laughs> don't borrow money from each other mm -hmm. okay before you move in together okay before mm. And I am going to sound old-fashioned, mm. but before you get sexually intimate. intimate. Mm. And number four, mm. even before you say that, you know, you are going to be my wife for the rest of my life. Yeah. Before you make those judgments mm. and mm. before you say those words, mm -hmm. the, the words, I love you. Mm. Let's use the word like, I feel you. I really enjoy mm. time Look with you. Yeah. I'm looking forward to what this will become. Mm. Stop <laughs> craving for the, those three the words. Yeah. They, they will, a man will tell you. And even a woman. Mm. I remember meeting a guy and in two weeks he told me, Grace, mm. I love you. Mm. And I was taken aback because we had not yet met face to face. Because mm -hmm. we were talking on the phone. On we phone. were long distance. Yeah. And when he told me, I love you. I felt something, I panicked. Yep. But you know what I did? Mm -hmm. I said, I love you too. And immediately after I said that, I knew I should not have said yeah. that. How do you love somebody yeah, you haven't you set your eyes yeah. on? That is, that is um, a fantasy. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's something that is in my mind because mm -hmm. I am filled with this emotional mm -hmm. high of mm -hmm. co connecting. This is in a fluctuation. Mm -hmm. So that is the first three months. Mm -hmm. Please, let's not... Let's not push people to tell us they love us. Mm -hmm. 
uh, until we understand what love, what love means. Is. Yeah. And then let's not push people mm -hmm. to do, there is a, there, there, there are times when I have met people who have told me, mm -hmm. unless she moves in with, with me, me, I cannot believe that she's committed to me. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and, uh, and I say, but where does that come from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, when you, when you probe, mm -hmm. you find out that this person is trying to prevent something from happening mm -hmm. that happened to, to them. Person. Not even to trap. Yeah. They are, they are self-preserving because before yeah. I was cheated on mm. and he, he, he thinks or she thinks yeah. that the reason why I was cheated on is because we were not together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see? Oh, yeah. And so this to is, prevent that. Yeah, so I decide in order for me to know that you're mm. committed, you yeah. have to move in with me. Yeah. That is a problem. Okay. Because we are not ready for that. So three months, mm -hmm. date, right. gather information. information. Yeah. Because somebody can tell you the first day, mm -hmm. they can withhold some information like children, mm -hmm. uh, whether they were married before or, or not, not, whether they are in a relationship that is troubled they are yeah. on their way out mm -hmm. they might not tell you that on mm -hmm. the first day yeah. but then if you continue to be with them and to spend more time with them mm -hmm. they this information will come so let's give people time, time. and then we go into what now we call, mm -hmm. now I have dated you, I have known you, mm -hmm. I have heard about your family, I know mm -hmm. your friends, I know where you work, mm -hmm. I know something about you. I know whether you are a kind person, an angry no, person, or yeah. that, by my interactions with you. Okay. After that, now I can make the decision. Is this a person I would like to pursue more? Mm. Now, at that point, okay. talk, define the relationship. The relationship. Yeah. Once you define the relationship, mm -hmm. then you define where we are going. Mm -hmm. And you can talk about now courtship. Courtship, okay. you are preparing for, for a marriage. commitment. Yeah. And I usually say, I, I am still old-fashioned, mm -hmm. no moving in together. Mm -hmm. I think the best way, mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is what I'm going to tell young men, mm -hmm. honor your girl's parents mm -hmm. by making sure before you move in with her, before you ask her to move in with you, mm -hmm. show that restraint, show that, that uh, respect. Mm -hmm. Even that girl will feel very mm -hmm. respected and say, I want to meet your dad. Okay. But what if the girl wants to move in? Now I'm talking to both of them. Okay. I'm saying even for you, uh, the, a, the girl, lady, yeah. have some dignity. Okay. Show that uh, that you're not desperate. Yeah. Because that is why we are having toxic relationships. Oh, because yeah. people are getting into relationships mm -hmm. for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I am lonely, mm -hmm. so I'm going to move in. Why am I having a boyfriend? Mm -hmm. And he lives in the next estate. We are sleeping in different houses. Mm -hmm. So this loneliness. Mm -hmm. And then when you do that maybe this person doesn't has has unfinished business mm. so they have a baby mama who mm. will call in the middle of the night who mm. is a drama queen mm. or they have this but you haven't given the guy in uh, time, time to be able to explain to you mm. what kind of life his mm. is yeah so don't be so quick ask yourself mm. why am i feeling this need mm. to move in mm. And, and I'm going to say, for, for the boys, please offer leadership in this relationship oh, yeah. and say, Han, you know what, mm -hmm. I want to do the right thing. Yeah. And please don't impregnate her. Mm -mm. <laughs> you okay. know, All because right. that now, now if she it's, gets pregnant, yeah. you can't do you can't the do. thing that you want to do. Mm -hmm. the, now, what am I saying? Mm. What I am saying is, let's be intentional. Yeah. And let's be clear what we want. Let's mm. define. Myself, I need to define mm. what is this relationship for myself. Yeah. And then together, let's define. Mm. Now, if somebody tells you that, uh, ah, me, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, buying time. Yeah. If you still like them, and, uh, and then stop thinking mm. about the wedding. Mm -hmm. and and just buy time with them with, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. but if they are buying time and you you are on a time clock and you need to move on mm. then move on move to somebody on. else yeah. who is within the same space where you yes, are yeah. a lot of times incompatibility is happening yeah. on so many levels mm -hmm. including timing mm. so mm -hmm. you have come into my life mm. but then i'm still married yeah although we are separated with my wife. Mm -hmm. Wrong timing. Mm -hmm. Because again, the, this person has unfinished business. business you yeah. move into his house and usually men, men who have been married before or women who have been married before and they are in between. Mm -hmm. It's easier for them to move in because yeah, companionship. companionship so mm -hmm. it's easier for them to just to, say, why yeah. don't we just move, move in, in together? Yeah. 
I am saying that you need to identify what your process, what mm. you need your process to yeah. be. Kama unataka the guy to come to your father and respect and offer that respect mm -hmm. to say that I want you to talk to my dad mm -hmm. and let my dad know that you are interested in, in me, me before yeah. we do anything. Right. It's a protective, it's a protective measure, measure. and it it's is true. also a sign something that has to do with accountability and transparency. Mm -hmm. So it's not just me and you anymore. Mm. We have other eyes. Other eyes yeah. There are people who are in the church, once they start dating and they tell each other that we want to, we are mm -hmm. serious, mm -hmm. they go to their pastor. Maybe mm -hmm. they are leaders in the church. Mm -hmm. they, they seek for that extra accountability. Yeah. And that is important. Mm -hmm. Now I know there are many questions. People will ask, what if your parents refuse the guy? What yep. if all all that, the, the pastor says the that it is not God's not will, all that? <laughs> You know, we can yeah. answer those specific yeah. ones. But but on the outset, mm -hmm. you want to create the kind of life you will be you proud want. of yeah. when you are five years into that marriage. Yeah. You don't have these things, oh, I wish I he wish. could have, yep. um, mm. he, he never did mm. or she never did. Yeah. yeah.